this is a, a Fusion 360 bank drawer completely parametric design I'm going to show you how it works uh, you will see the benefits of using parameters to design your cabinet or anything else you should design I'm going to move this over a little bit to the left so you will see the design and also the table of the parameters that I have over here. Let me hide this panel there so you can see the change that I'm about to do over here. Actually, right now we have a height of 50 inches and a depth, the width is 30 inches and the depth is 22 inches and 8, 7, 8 of an inch. So let me update some of them. Let me update the depth of the cabinet to 24 inches. And as you can see, the depth immediately became uh, deeper. So if you want to change the depth of the drawer boxes, you should change over here the slide the drawer slide lens. Right now I have them set to four four hundred and fifty millimeters, which is nineteen inches point two ninety two two ninety one nineteen point two ninety one inches. I'm just gonna put over here twenty one inches slides. And you'll see how immediately they became deeper or bigger. So if you want to change the, the top drawer high, you just update over here. Let's say it's, uh, right now it's 9 inches. I'm going to put 7 inches. As soon as you hit in, enter, it will become 7 inches high that is the, the top upper drawer there is a bunch of uh, parameters actually everything is set up with parameters but we have over here on the upper side are, are the favorites so the one that you maybe will update more usually most uh, common for them to be updated so you choose them to be favorite. I'm going to change uh, the bottom drawer height. I'm going to set it to 14 inches. Uh, you can see that everything update, updates uh, real fine. You could set the drawer, the top drawer height, and the lower drawer height. The drawers on the middle, on the middle, they will update automatically with the with the press of the dimensions of the height that are left to them. So, if you have like, I'm going to change over here the height of the cabinet to 34.5 inches. So you're going to have a lot less space for them for the middle. Uh, drawers because you have already set 14, 14 inches for the one on the bottom and we set 7 inches for the one on the top drawer so what you could do over here is if you have a, a, a like a kitchen ta a drawer bank which is usually 34 inches and a half well you could put these drawers and uh, drawers smaller or you could set over here drawers quantity to a smaller number like 3 for example and they will update right there to 3 just 3 drawers as you can see let me change over here the height of the top drawer again to 6 inches and that updates real nice and 
about the width I have over here 30 inches and I'm going to set it to 24 inches width you can see the change right over I'm going to set this to 36 inches now the width and we have we have a lot wider uh, draw back immediately everything you can set it up over here on the user parameters um, if you set this over here like maybe in a closet you could set it over here on the height to, to 55 inches you could have uh, a lot of drawers maybe seven or six of them I already put as uh, uh, seven but with 55 inches you, you could see that the that the middle drawers they will they will not be too too big so maybe you you could set the the lower the bottom drawer to nine inches. That way you will have bigger middle middle drawers. And if you could update this instead of seven drawers, you could put over here six drawers, and that will update immediately to six drawers, and you have a, a bigger you'll have bigger drawers uh, let's say you have uh, depends on the slides you'll be using you need to know the, the thickness that you need um, this thickness is take is, we are using this thickness on the side of, of the drawer box to the left side panel to the to the end panel I'm sorry to the side panel so you could check how how thick that space should be according to the slides you are you are going to be using and you set over here this parameter to whatever thickness you need over here on the slides thickness right now I have them set to about six millimeters which is what I need for undermount slides. Let's say I'm going to use uh, side slides, so I'm going to be using a half inch slides. I'm going to put over here a little bit more, like 0.52 for the slide thickness, and I, it will update immediately what I'm using over here space that I need and everything all the, the parts are going to be regenerated to the correct side so let's go back to a, a narrower or a less deep drawer bank let's say uh, 22 inches and seven quarters uh, seven eighths of an inch and you can see the change immediately on the side of the of the drawer boxes. If you if you put a length different, let's say you could change the length of the of the drawer slides. Like over here, I have 20 21 inches. If you choose over here the depth of the cabinet to eight in 18 inches. It will update the drawer boxes to a to a lower to a less uh, big a, le a size shorter, but you won't have 20, 21 inches uh, slides anymore because you you could not fit them over here. So the, these parameters over here would actually update the side of the of the slides but it won't be uh, 21 inches because you 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 have a depth of 18 inches so let me see how much how big are they on this design so I'm looking over here on the drawer land the actual land on this uh, Door boxes land. Uh, 
I don't see them right now, but I have said this, that you could not break the, the design. So it will not make the, 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 the box 21 inches deep, but it will make them shorter. So you could fit them over here on your on your design, as you can see over here. Let me see this measurement over here. So it's currently set to 17 inches. You couldn't find 17, 17 inches slides. You should, you, you might find 16 inches or 18 inches. So it's good to, to know that. So if you choose a different uh, uh, depth, you should adapt the slide length to the correct side. So I'm gonna put over here on the length of the slides. I'm gonna put 16 inches. And uh, let me see these uh, 16 inches over here, and I will I will have a shorter drawer boxes, and everything will be correct. So you just check on that because you could you could make some boxes uh, if you change the depth. And you don't change the depth of the slides. Maybe you'll have some boxes of 17 inches or 15 inches. Those are sizes that you, you you won't find those sizes. Those are not regular sizes of the slides. So you should check on that when you change the depth. And there is a lot of other things that you could change. Let's talk about it. The reveals. As you can see over here, I have the air reveal parameter that I'm going to change. Right now, it's, it's set to uh, an eighth of an inch. I'm going to set this to uh, three eighths of an inch. Let's set over here. And I have now three eighths of an inch on the reveals everywhere from the bottom all the way to. To, to the lower reveal on the upper drawer front. So what about the reveal on the on the top drawer front? The one that goes uh, right on the top of the cabinet, right here. Well, that's a separate parameter, which is set, which is called top reveal. Right now it's set to uh, quarter, uh, three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna set it to to one eighth of an inch, so you could see the the, the, the upper side. I'm gonna move it over here, so you could see you have a, a, a lot less uh, reveal. But we set this reveal to be separate because sometimes you need to move away from the top of the of the kitchen. So in closets, usually we use the same reveal for the top reveal of the of the top drawer. But in kitchen cabinets, we put this lower, like a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put it not a quarter of an inch, three, three quarters of an inch actually is what we use. So I'm going to put this back to three quarters of, of an inch, just the top reveal. And I have over here, uh, those are drawer dividers. As you can see over here, they this is not a, a parameter that is usually changed, so it's not on the fabric list, but it's somewhere around here, which is, uh, I'm just going to show you that everything could be changed with the parameters. Um, you just find that the width of this sets over here, stretcher width, it actually it's not correct. I'm going to correct this. The name, okay, stretch your width. Uh, it's set to, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm talking about the drawer division. Now. I was that was the stretchers. Um, drawer division width, drawer division width. It's right here. So it's set to five inches. You could set this to six inches or whatever you like and it will update it 
just also updated this real quick um, I'm gonna put this to 8 inches so you can see better now you have 8 inches that for the drawer divider so I'm gonna put this back to 5 inches which is what we use 5 inches And about the, the top, we like to use uh, a top, a complete top on kitchens and closets. Uh, I mean, in closets, most of the time you need a complete top, but you don't need a separate design to, to, to have a stretcher if you want to do it with uh, top stretchers. So you just uh, close this over here, and we have this this part names a stop just hide it that way when you, we are going to the manufacturer section you want to cut that one you just deselect that one and I'm going to put over here the I'm going to show the the, the stretchers the top stretchers you can do this on um, those selection sets top stretchers What's going on? Let me see. Let me deselect this. I don't know why it's not working. Okay. Yes. Um, show high. Those uh, upper stretchers. So, uh, I'm not showing up. I'm just gonna do it one by one on the bottom, right here. Okay. Now you have uh, your cabinet with uh, stretchers instead of a top. Let me put this back. This panel, and um, this is the cabinet, the complete cabinet, completely parametric. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be show you, showing in different videos how we do this and the different. It, to, to construct this in just one video, it's going to be too long, but. What we could do is do separate videos of how to, how do you do the, the the front doors, the front drawers, uh, how do you do the the inset, the dados. I think we did one about those, and do different videos in order to have that. You could do the same cabinet uh, if you look at the uh, at the videos related to that to those type of cabinets. I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you.